So I get asked this question a lot about how to set up a classroom, especially when there's a lot of different teachers who have stakes in the classroom. So I made a fake class. I'm just calling it third grade class. It could be any grade. Um, but typically you have the regular ed teacher, you have a supporting special ed teacher or teachers, reading specialist, speech teachers, and, and others. And I, I don't mean to leave any group out. It's just a demonstration. So the regular ed teacher is in charge of all the students. And then these support people are in charge of specific people. And the district has asked that everybody works within the same classroom. So we're struggling a little bit with how to set that up. So I'm going to show you in this video how to create grading groups. And grading groups are not for grades, but they're to differentiate your classroom. So it already defaults to um, just the all the students. And let me get out of the full screen here because you're not able to see it. So when you set up Schoology, it defaults to all students get whatever you set up. But you can create grading groups, so that's not the case. You might want to make, if you're the core teacher, the regular art teacher, you might want to make math groups based on uh, levels, reading groups, um, and I just made those. You can have any kind of group you want. If you're the special ed teacher, you might just want a folder that goes to specific kids that you service. Same thing with the reading specialists, the speech teachers. Um, so you can set it up so that you only the kids that you have see that information. Not everyone will get it. And I'm going to go over how to do that. The thing you need to know, though, is that any administrator will see all the folders. The kids will only see what you assign to them. Um, students can be in multiple groups, so they can be in the all students. They can be in a math group. They could be in a reading specialist group and they could be in a reading group. So they can be in as many groups as you um, want to make it, it doesn't it doesn't impact anything at all except for how you're going to organize your classroom um, it's really easy to edit so if you need to be fluid and move kids in and out of groups it's, it's pretty easy to do just be aware that you're going to see everything as an administrator the kids will only see the things that they're assigned to so let me go over how to do that so when you get into your course and i made a fake third grade class here and i put some fake students in here I go to members and over here to the right, you're going to see this little organize members into grading groups. So you just click there and remember, it's really not about grades. It's more about organization. So this might be um, a math group I want to set up. So the students do not see the names of these groups, but I still would not. I just wouldn't use any kind of thing that would identify them. You can use animal names, you can use colors, letters, or group one, it doesn't have to be fancy. Um, and then all you do is you just click on the kids that you want in there. So in group one, I just want these two students to be in there and I say create a grading group. And then I want to do another one for maybe the reading specialist teacher. And she has these two students. And then maybe the special ed teacher has um, and you can call it whatever you want. I'm just, just on it for demonstration. Maybe they have um, these two kids. So you're going to see what groups the kids are in underneath their names when you go to members. The fake kids in reading specialists and the special ed teacher. Fake Mrs. Kenny's in group one for math and special ed. And then Mr. Olson's in reading and uh, Ms. Walls here is in group one. So to use that, what you're going to do on your materials page is if you create a folder right now, if I just create a folder, it's going to go out to everyone. So I'm going to say this is uh, welcome to week one. You can call it whatever you want. You can put pictures, directions, okay? And then you hit create. Now that's going out to everyone in class. Then the reading specialist wants to send out something just to her students. So she's going to do the same thing. She's going to add a folder and she'll say, Mrs. Reading Specialist. Color it, whatever she wants to color it, doesn't really matter. And then she hits create. As the admins, you both see this. But what she's going to do is she's going to click over here or, um, and she can do one of two things. She She's going to individually assign this either to students by name or just those groups we set up. So um, when I click in here, all the groups will come up. And I know this is my group because I labeled it that way. I click off of it and I hit next. And then I hit assign. 
So it'll even tell you, this is only going to a group of kids, not everyone. If there's nothing there, that means everyone's seeing it. But I know it's going to a group. And if you're not sure which group, just click on it. It'll tell you, this is going to the reading uh, specialist group. So to remind you, when we set up the groups, the reading specialist was the fake kid and Mr. Olson, not Mrs. Kenny. So at any time, what you can do is you can view a course as a student. So I'm going to go to the fake kid and show you that they're going to see both those folders because this one was assigned to everyone and this one came from the reading specialist. So I'm going to hit back to course. And then I'm going to view it as um, fake Mrs. Kenny, who was not in the reading specialist class. And she doesn't see the reading specialist's folder. So that's how you can set up um, groups so kids can see it. And you, you can have multiple folders in here. Um, so it goes, you, you can organize it any way you want. So the communication is going to be key between you and your specialist. Um, but you can set it up that way only certain kids see it. And the reading specialist would be the only one who is um, editing this. But if you if you decided to work together and you can put things in there as a core teacher too, that's fine too. But only the kids in that group would see them. So if you ever need to edit a group, if you need to add more people or delete people or move people around over here to the right, you'll see your groups that you set up and you just click here. You hit edit. And then you could click on add somebody and then create the group or you can remove somebody just by clicking off of them again. And then now it's it's switched around. So those people are in different groups now. So that's how you set up um, grading groups. And remember, it's not just for grading. It's so you can set up your differentiated groups and work inside the same classroom. I hope that helps.